Shalom, shalom. I like to start off by giving all praises, glory, honor, and respect due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel, set up on the earth to teach today. And salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, <clears throat> praising his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. To your brothers, I like to say shalom. And um, this quick little lesson I want to go into. Um, just just real quick, based off the topic, based off on, um, I was going through some of my old pictures and um my screenshots, and I seen this word, and it's it's rampike, and we're gonna get the definition of it, but first I want to get the scripture. This is Luke, chapter six. Yeah, it's a lot. Luke chapter six, verse forty four. Uh, um, hold on. Um, this is Luke chapter 6, verse 43. For a good tree, it's a lock. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of the bramble bush gather they grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For... <clears throat> For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. And, then, and that was the point, man. Basically going to the fact you would know a tree by its fruits. So so what that means is if, if you bring forth good fruit, abundance fruit, fruit that remain, fruit that actually go out and do what's asked of them according to the scriptures, that's, that's basically a good tree. But if 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 you if you got a tree man, that's that's not bringing forth fruit or they doing corruptible things, going off according to the scriptures, not teaching the correct doctrine, that's a bad tree, which bring forth bad fruit. The reason why I brought this out, cause this word ramp pike, right here, it says definition of ramp pike, an erect, broken or dead tree, and that's a lot of these other camps ministries man. A lot of these camps, man, is, is they just dead. They going off in the scriptures, man. They leading Israel astray, man. And it, it's just it's just a whole lot of folly going on, man. That's why in Titus, um, I'm finna get it. Titus the first chapter, starting at the ninth verse. This is Titus one and nine. It says, "Holding fast." The faithful word as he have been taught. As he have been taught. That's that that tell you right there, you're gonna need teachers, man. You're gonna need teachers in this thing, man. And and and, and you're gonna need the correct teachers, man. The guys that's giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly. They giving you the whole gospel, man. Telling you the truth. Hey, it, it's not the truth if it got a little bit of a line there, man. I can say I got a hundred dollars in my pocket, and I can have one dollar in my pocket. Hey, it, it, they try to say it's not a lie because he did have money on his pocket. But did I have the amount that I said? No. That therefore it makes it a lie. <clears throat> it says, "Holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers." For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. So, especially them in the know. We got the camps like ITR, GOCC, Nate, Nate IUIC, IUSPK. They going off, man, because they, they, they not giving you the whole doctrine, man. They know the truth, man. They know who got the truth. They know the apostle, the GMS. Starting with the Apostle GMS and going on down as the truth, man. They know it's the truth. 
But the thing is, it's, it's just that pride demon. They don't want to humble down to the fact that, hey, man, admit they was wrong. It take a lot for a man to admit he was wrong. Once you can admit you was wrong, hey, that's that's half the battle right there, man. Humbling down, man. Verse 11. Whose mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. And most of the time it be for money. But some, in, in some cases, man, it just be that vain glory, man. It can be that vain glory that they want. To be viewed as they the man on this side. That they the guy with the breakdown. The man with the plan, as I used to say in the world. The man with the plan, man. That's just what they want to be, man. But ultimately, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The guy with the plan. That's the, it, it, Yahweh gave the plan to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai gave it to the disciples. And, and right now, man, the disciple that he gave it to is the apostles of Great Millstone. That's just what it is. I'm going to go into this. I'm going to go into this Ephesians, man. Because cause you got to have these teachers, man. Ephesians chapter 4. Um, Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, that verse 10. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 10. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Let's talk about Yahweh And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Hamashiach. Damn. Uh, uh, verse 14. Matter of fact, let me start back at 12. It says, for the perfecting of the saints. So these apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers was all given, given just so the elect, because that's who the saints really is on this side, because the saints are only, the saints can only be Israelites. But on this side, all, all Israel is not of Israel, because we got the two thirds. So that one third and, and really the elect, because the elect is really getting into the scriptures, the one third just, they got the faith. This, this, they, those men, they was given to the elect so they can come into the full unity. It says, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying. So we can come into that full edification. So we, so we the hopeful elect, Lord willing, would be able to, that number, man, can come into that understanding, man. Because how, how can you get this if you're not told? You got to get told this, man. You taught how to do everything in the world from the day you are born. You taught how to talk, walk, t go, you, you, you're potty trained. Like, come on. They even teach you how to wipe your ass. You get told everything. Like, and what, this is just something you're going to get on your own? I mean, I'm not saying y'all about some y'all shot. Don't work like that way because he can reveal it to somebody. Just wake them up out the blue. But that's not how it is, man. Why? Because the scriptures say it's going to happen like this, man. And that's why it's happening like this, man. Because the most high, it, 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 he, he, he has to live up to his name, man. He's not a God that he should lie, man. So if he said, he gonna do it, man. It's just for the work of the ministry, for for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. It says, till we all come in the unity of the faith. So until the, all the elect, man, that body of Hamashiach, that third temple, that spiritual third temple come into effect. Hey. This is what they doing, man. Until they come into the unity of the faith. So until the whole, until the elect gets sealed, man. 
And then once the leg gets healed, we, we, we about to be out of here, man. That's it. That's the story. This the end, man. As soon as they, as soon as they cut, cut off the internet, that means the leg has been sealed, man. So that means don't stay diligent after that? No. Because in Matthew, the 24th chapter, I want to say the 13th verse, it say, the same that endureth to the end shall be saved. So even after that, man, that's just the beginning of the trouble. That's the beginning of Jacob's trouble. You got to do all the way into, uh, into the end of Jacob's trouble. Whether that be you being put to death or you getting that, that, that salvation. Getting raised up and I'm curious, man. That's it. That's all, man. You got to deal. You got to deal accordingly, man. You can't start changing the doctrine and all that. It, that's going off, man. We know what the scriptures say. Like, it ain't no reason to play about it. It's on um, verse 13 again. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Unto a perfect man. Unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Hamashiach. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slightest of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. And that's what they do, man. And they, they doing it, man, for that filthy lucre, man. Really? Or for that, that vain glory on this side, man. And it, it really don't make no sense, man. But that's just the way some niggas is. And not only that. The scripture said it was going to be like that. So that's why it happens. Period. The Lord said it was going to happen like that. That's why it happened. We just I just went to the fact, man, the Lord, hey, hey, if he said, matter of fact, before I get this, I'm going to get Isaiah real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. It says, so, um... Uh, yeah, verse 10, Isaiah 55 and 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow fall from heaven and returneth not th thither, thither, but whatever, but what, Salakia, but watereth the earth and make maketh it bring forth and, and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. And that's the point, man. It's locked. The Lord word not gonna go out void. So if he said it's gonna be in the days, if he say it's gonna be a time like never before, he say if he say he will be saved out of it of Jacob's trouble. Who is the he? The elect. Like, come on, man. Like, and that going to have a faith, man. That's why they say the beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Most High. Because once you begin to fear Him and you start to believe. See, see, this is the deal. When I was little, I didn't do certain things that I wanted to do because I feared my mother. Or I feared my father. Why did I fear him? Because they said, if you do this, I'm going to beat your ass. So by me having fear, if I, had to, if I feared them, that means I had to believe what they said was going to happen. What happened? Like this, so the same thing applies to this truth, man. If the Lord say, hey, if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. If you do this, this is what's going to happen. You got to have that fear, that belief to actually believe like, okay, maybe I should get right. Or the Lord really going to fuck me up. If, if, if it's going to block that talk all that crazy shit, man. Matter of fact, I'm, we ain't going to even use that example. If as a guy you know that talk about he the best hooper in the world, say, yeah, I'll ball you up, I'll do this and that. You don't believe him until he prove you wrong. And you don't want to be that person to get proved wrong. You should never underestimate your opponent. But now you playing with y'all by some y'all shot. You damn sure shouldn't underestimate him. You shouldn't do it. But, hey, that's that second address, 9 and um, 9, man. Going down to, um, I believe, the 12 verse. They had yet liberty, but they loathed the law. The same must know it after death by pain, man. That's just what it is. But but jumping back on track, this is Acts chapter 8. <coughs> it's a lock. Chapter 8, I'm going to start at verse 27. 
And he arose. Hold on, Salakia. Yeah. Verse this um Acts eight and twenty six. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, and Enoch, of great authority under Candace, queen of the e of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for the worship. Now hold on, if he was a man of Ethiopia and he come to Jerusalem out of one of the three towns to come before coming to Jerusalem to worship, what would that mean? That he's a confusion of faith. Psalms 147, 19, and 20, no other nation can come to this. It's only for the Israelites. So that killed that that that, that draft and the indoctrine of the Gentiles with the other nations. No, man. Look up your words, go into the words, and then on top of that, go precept upon precept. Hey, something I learned in my short time in this truth, if you're bringing these scriptures out precept upon precept, precept upon precept, there's no way to get around it. At all. Because if you got your four precepts to prove it, that means they will have to have four precepts to 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 to, to contradict you. And they're not gonna have their four precepts. I'm telling. You. Like it's just it's it's hey, it's not gonna happen. Scoffers only are made to cause doubt, to make you doubt yourself. And this go back to having that faith. We had a hundred percent doctrine, man. Under the apostles of Great Millstone. They have not they have not um um what's the word it was used? Um I forget the word. I forget the exact word. But basically they give you the whole doctrine, man. It was said by Paul, I think he said we I have not shunned to show you the whole um gospel. They gave you the whole doctrine, the whole gospel, man. They give you a hundred percent truth. That's it. That's all. One hundred percent truth, man. So you gotta have that faith, man. You gotta have faith that this is the truth. If you ain't got faith in it, then why is you even in it, man? I was gonna you gonna fuck yourself over. Acts eight and twenty eight. I'm gonna read twenty seven again real quick. <clears throat> and he arose and went and beheld a man of Ethiopia and end up of great authority under Candace, queen of the oak. Of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran there to thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Verse 31, and he said, how can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And, and that's just it, bro. That's it. I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth, man. When I first, before I came into the truth, I was talking about reading the Bible. And I was reading it, and I was so fucked up off the whole Adam and Eve thing. I'm like, what the fuck is this? But see, that's why Proverbs 4 and 7. But you're going to get it. This is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. It's, it's, wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. What's wisdom? The scriptures. Deuteronomy, that go Deuteronomy chapter 6, 5 and Five and four. I mean four and five. <laughs> five and four. It says wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And that wisdom, if you start at the first verse and jump down or just read down, it's telling you it's only for the Israelites. It's only for the Israelites. You so called Negroes, you so called Latinos, and you so called Native Americans. You are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. Ain't no way around it. Hey, if you don't want to be a Hebrew Israelite, you want to be black or African or Mexican or whatever the fuck you want to be, be it. It don't matter to me. I, I told, man, I went and told my whole fam. Didn't nobody care. So, hey, that's just it. That's just what it is. You don't care. I can't care for you. 
Hey, like um, like the, they always say, man, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So if you ain't thirsty, shit, I'm going to get even more thirsty. <laughs> it says, therefore, get wisdom. And with all like getting, get understanding. So you got to get that understanding, man. You got to get the understanding. Like, you got to get the understanding, period, man. Like, like, damn. How can you get understanding, though? Unless you have somebody to teach you. I didn't get that breakdown to the Genesis for a little while. But I read it, and I'm like, it ain't what I think it is. And that's, we're going to get that Proverbs real quick. Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, Trust in your Yahweh with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. So even then, I know I be thinking, like, back then I was still getting high somewhat. This is before I came to truth. I was getting high and shit. And I was thinking, like, man, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, but I, I knew I didn't know. So I'm like, bro, if you don't know, you don't know. That's just what it is. If you don't know, you don't know. Ain't nothing wrong with not knowing. Eventually, the spirit may reveal it to you. And if not, it wasn't supposed to. It wasn't for you to know, man. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. Hey, but hey, that's all I got, man. I can keep rambling on, but hey, with that, I like to give all praise, glory, honor, and respect due to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. I'd like to get double honors to the the apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on the earth to teach today. And if you can't receive that old will, it's not for you to receive it. And I'd like to say salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. To you brothers, I'd like to say shalom. Uh -oh.